the living and focus and focus and I'm going to ask you again to open your shoulders. Keep the index finger scarlet.
yoga. So it teaches the, the anatomy is, it teaches is the applied anatomy to yoga, not separate from our practice. Then yoga, the yoga that was that came from the West, was not exclusively Indian. What we do now does not really come from India, no more than 50%. You have to remember that India was colonized by the British. A lot of Brits live there and they have their gymnastic, they have their gym room with different um, apparatus, like machines or bars or whatever, ropes hanging from the wall. And there has been constant influence between the Western gym, including bodybuilding, and the practice of yoga. So what we do now is probably something that 100 years ago did not exist. Then, and other parts of yoga came, like the philosophy, for example, it came separately very often. Then it has been reintegrated. And so now we say we use our body to become liberated. That means not living in this dualism, me and the rest of the world. Good and bad, black and white, night and day, male and female, all this is dualism. So if we can go beyond dualism, then certainly there is a liberation. Very similar to what Buddhas, the Buddha taught. Huh? Between Hinduism and Buddhism, there are many, many, many common points. And so now in yoga, I think it started, I don't know exactly when it started, but I think in, in Australia, they started having nine month programs for teacher training course, nine months. That was huge. And they had an association which still exists. And then in the United States, the same association reduced to two levels, level one, 200 hours, and level two, 300 hours. So altogether, you have 500 hours. And so we are free with the school. We are free to do it in one month, concentrated like this, or to do it, some people do it like two hours a day, so it can last like six months. Mm. Even if we do it in a concentrated way, then the students at the end of the teacher training course have to continue their studies. I mean, I give a lot of evidence, I give a lot of documentation. During the DTC, they have no time to study, and that I know. But when the TTC is over, if they are serious, they can continue their studies because I give them all the elements. They have the anatomy, the philosophy, the teaching methodology also. It is something which has different levels. You can be a bad teacher or you may be a great practitioner. Teaching is transmitting the knowledge. And for this you need a certain competence. Not everyone can teach. Not everyone. So a teacher is not necessarily someone who can do everything. A teacher is someone who can transmit the knowledge, basically. And we have techniques, we have teaching methodology, we have techniques. And we use different things, psychology, of course, and uh, the way we express ourselves, even other elements.